Well, hello there. It's time for a very professional unboxing video of this king of the docks for iPhone 7 Plus. So let's take a look at the brown box here. Here's my address details. So you can't read those because they're taken out because secrets. And this is the red sticker of doom. It says I shall pay taxes and import taxes with that, which was in total $32 if I'm not mistaken or rough equivalent of that. Welcome to Sweden. On the bottom there's nothing except Uline. All right, let's take a knife to this sucker, see what we can do. As people usually say, I'll get my trusty knife. I, I, I don't trust knives, they're dangerous, you gotta be careful. They're not friends. So let's do this. Oh boy. See, it almost slipped. Gotta be careful with these things. There we go. That is one open box. Let's take a look at this. So you might be wondering, the king of docks, what company does it come from? comes from Elevation Lab and it has a silver hologram sticker. I think it's a silver hologram sticker. It's not. It's just very reflective. Perhaps this is to show what color the dock is. Which it should be sandblasted aluminum because everybody knows aluminum. The first and only choice really. I never really bought into the rose gold stuff. Very nice little detail here in a box. It's a uh, an inspection sticker. It was inspected by GB or SB. Very nice. Little touch there. Elevation Lab. Let's open this bad boy up. Dum pum pum pum. There it comes. The packaging is okay, but the presentation it's a little bit off, but shipping of course. What is really nice to see here which is unlike the previous, and I can already tell, uh, is that the, the, the charger cord, it's already installed in the dock. With the other uh, previous Elevation Lab dock that I bought, I had to install a charging port myself. So this is a really nice little extra touch. A uh, little foam padding, it's just standard foam padding. Little manual, like because it's a dock, it's very complicated for some people and you need manuals. It has dock setup and instructions. I want to take a look at this, but first let's take a peek at the dock itself. Let's lift it out of here. Oh, that's really weighty. It's really nice. Let me give you a closer look here in the camera. Focus, you fuck. Come on. You want to focus on this beauty. Got a nice rubber bumper here in the back. And, you know, machined out of one solid block of aluminum, it feels really nice. There's some nice weight to this, so your phone isn't going to flap around in the breeze. Uh, you got your little iPhone connector in there. And um, I see some black holes here in the bottom. I think those, yeah, those are rubber bumpers too. I'm looking at this as well through the camera, so it's tough for me to see, but you can see those rubber bumpers really stick up. And uh, they keep your iPhone nice and safe. So that is really nice. Really like it. Little slot here if you want to touch the home button while it's in the dock. Absolute gorgeous finishing on this machined piece of aluminum. It is without a doubt very professionally done. Um, and it is sandblasted. It has this really nice texture to it. It's nice and cold as aluminum should be. And at the bottom at the bottom we have these pads and they're not just rubber pads at least they weren't on the previous version i have not read up on this because i got this as a gift from my friend chris which uh, i really appreciate thank you so much for that um and uh, these are nano pads so they're like suction cups but millions of them really small ones and they once this is on it's stuck. You can't move it. So even if the dock is hefty with this, it is unbreakable. 
uh, unless you pull it straight up or you turn it. If you turn it, you can get it off, but this dock is never going to slip off your desk. Um, yeah, little, um, I assume, removable plate if you want to replace the charging cord. Uh, this is something that uh, you had to do in the previous version of the dock. So yeah, that looks absolutely fantastic. I'm not gonna take these pads off, but if these um, pads are what I think uh, they are, if they do get dirty, uh, they're not like glue. You can use them again and again and again. Uh, you usually won't, but it's nice to know that you have the option to replace it without tearing up your desk or whatnot. So yeah, what else is there to say? I mean, after all, it is a charging dock, even if it's a beautifully crafted one. <laughs> Gotta love the camera autofocus there. Um, you know what would be nice? To maybe show it off with the phone inside of the dock. And let's do that facing the camera. So there we go. We have one out of focus <laughs> little dock there. Well, it's actually rather quite big. Let me get this box out of the way. And here it is, my iPhone 7. And apparently it's 2035, and as you could see, it was actually in need of a charge. So, um, do we put it in like this? I, I don't know, maybe upside down? It's confusing. It's a good thing I have these setup instructions. What else would I do? Actually, they probably tell you about the pads in there. Well, I mean, it's just going to slide in like that, right? Nope. I, uh, you actually, this is a thing to consider. This is something that was, I don't know, there might be a really good reason for this, but it was something that was a slight issue with the previous dock as well. You have to, and I'm not sure if I can illustrate this, there is enough space between the front of the charger connector and the actual dock port here to slip your iPhone in. As you can see, I'm not going to push it because it might actually, it requires a little bit of force and it might scratch up the phone, but it is possible. And it has happened to me once that I actually ended up not charging my phone. This one does seem to be a much tighter fit, so I'll probably notice it. It was very easily resolved by just making sure that I always index my phone against the back bumper. So let's do that. Let's imagine doing this off camera yeah you gotta sort of you gotta fiddle around it's it's not super super easy to to get it in like you gotta move it into the center you see you got quite a bit of space here so you really have to you gotta get that angle just right you know there we go now it's in that took a little while and this is the first time i'm doing it so sure i'm doing it on camera but anyway that's just a matter of getting used to it. Once you get used to it, you will do it effortlessly, but it's a little bit tricky and it might potentially scratch up the bottom of your phone a tiny, tiny bit. Um, but I guess it's a compromise because what are you going to do? Put rubber bumpers here? Yeah, it's it's going to be tough. Maybe some, some rounding, I don't know, some product IDs. But guys, it looks absolutely beautiful. And uh, as you can see, you can see what I'm seeing. Creates a nice little mirror effect. It's a uh, dockception, people. But, hey, it looks amazing. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And uh, like I said, once it's in, it's in. It's not going to trip. It's not going to fall. Your phone is really nicely protected here on the back by the bumper, on the bottom by the bumper. Hmm. So let's take it out again. See, it's really nice and tight. Oh, yeah. shouldn't break my phone just because. But help, it's not charging. What am I doing wrong? Let's, let's take a look at this manual. If you want this dock and you can afford it, buy it. It's an amazing dock. You know, maybe trick your friends into buying it for you. Let's look at this. The setup instructions. It, it says dock setup and instructions. Well, short but good. Has some photos. And uh, if you want to read this, pause it. I'll go through it quickly. 
It says, welcome, your dock was made from scratch in Portland, Oregon. I thought it said Poland. I was like, it's a U.S. product, isn't it? Via precise five-axis CNC machining, and then giving given a 20-step step anodized finish. 20 steps? That's crazy. 20? I want to know what are these 20 steps. At any rate, um, if you ever have any issues, please let us know at hello at elevationlab.com. My issue is I want to know what those 20 steps are. And I have other issues, but I don't think they can help me with those. The dock setup instructions then are remove the back blade by pressing in from the back cord hole, remove the collet and bring the lightning cord through the opening, place the collet. Right, this is interesting because it's explaining how to put the power cable in. But it's already in. Was this an extra option at checkout? Was this a professionally installed power cable? Was this an unexpected surprise or bonus? I don't know because I didn't buy it. But if it is, it's very much appreciated. I don't have to waste time. Instead, I can waste time by making a video for the dog, about the dog. But yes, it does explain here with the pictures how to install the cable, which I briefly touched upon. And then it tells you about the nano, wow, the nano pad bottom service. Yeah. Register trademark TM. The nano pad on the bottom of your dock will lock to any smooth surface with microscopic air vacuums. If it ever gets dirty and loses suction, just wipe it clean with a damp rag and let dry. Nice, nice. Oh, this is interesting. You can adjust for thicker cases. Now, I don't run with a case on my iPhone because the iPhone is an absolutely amazing phone and the case would just destroy its look. But if you're running with a case, you can adjust for a thicker case. And it says here, you can pull out and flip the silicone back pad. That would be this one. And lateral supports, which would be these two, I would imagine, to fit thicker cases. Or remove them altogether for very thick cases. I'm not going to touch these. I believe them. This is fine for me. But that's cool, I guess. Although... Arguably, it would leave a gaping hole in your dock. Look, it would be sad if, if yeah, it kind of does look like a face, doesn't it? Kind of looks like a happy face. Little eyebrow, two eyes, nose sticking out, little mouth. You would be shaving off its eyebrow and pulling out its eyes if you were to run without these bumpers. In that case, it would be cool if you could um, order inserts, flat, flush trim rubber inserts. Anyway, I think I've dragged out the subject of a dock for long enough. I don't have much more to say. Um, have a great one, guys. Bye. And my mouse is Bluetooth. It doesn't always work the first time. It's fucked up.